Alrighty, first off, I took off my mask because you know what, and also because I'm in the car, nobody else is. So yeah, there's that. Um, some things have gone on recently in terms of silly season news and stuff. Uh, NASCAR schedule surprisingly looks decent. Uh, IndyCar and Indy Light schedule sucks. You dropped the ball, Roger. You completely blew it. But that's a topic for another video that's probably already made by some other indie, whatever is the other major indie car YouTuber. <laughs> I swear, I swear, David Land's like the only one who does this sort of thing. I guess maybe KG. But you all know what, what time it really is. You all know what this video is really about. Not about this lock, which is weird. I don't know why this doesn't screw in here to my fantastic 2008 Dodge Avenger. <laughs> uh, that's kind of a shame. It's a, it's, a, it's a dummy lock. It's a child safety lock. The other one's like that, too. Anyway, y'all know what time it really is. Okay, we had some news going on. Um, Daniel Hemrick, of all people, the winless wonder, <laughs> is taking over the 18 car, which I'm kind of surprised they're not just closing that car back down. I guess it means Gibbs is really committed to, uh, yeah, this car could be a placeholder for, for Ty Gibbs, you know, so Hemrick, I, yeah, he's, uh, that's, Gibbs actually has a decent roster next year. They'll have Hemrick, who's kind of the weakest link on the basis that he hasn't won. Uh, you got Brandon Jones, who's won three races in 2020. He's won three times. He's got four career wins. Oh, my Lord. I cannot believe this. Speaking of four wins, I think that's how many... Wins Harrison Burt got this year. Yeah, and then Chase Briscoe got nine wins, and he's moving up the cup, and look who's going to replace him. <laughs> it's Riley Herbs. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to try not to be as negative. Oh, uh, let's see. I mean, in Herbs' defense, he did make the chase, which... What was his average finish? Like 16th or something? I mean, in a when in a 12 car field, that's not the greatest, I guess. But especially when your so-called talentless teammate actually outruns a leech. That was like the last pre. That was the last pre. You know what race? Let's just say the last race they actually had qualifying. Yeah, does that work? Does that work? YouTube, I think YouTube will not demonetize me. Not that I had monetization in the first place. <sighs> Let's just say Herbs did not have a good year. I, well, I mean, he's, he somehow won a second career. Uh, Arca race. So no, Brandon Jones only has wins about five times as much on average in Arca, and not ten times. So a good job, I guess. Oh God, I'm, gl I'm glad I didn't go to an Arca race this year. I wasn't going to anyway. I was disappointed by only eighteen cars. I love how people are starting to complain about 
arc car counts this year. It's like, last year there was 18 at a track that had 40 just like three years prior. Or something. It was like 30, 40, like in 2016, 2018 at like, no, 2017 at like 34, 2018 at 26. But we're not here. We're talking about Riley Herb stepping into the car that probably could have won the championship. But Sindrick won. That's pretty cool. Austin Sindrick. Um, Almondinger actually won on Roval this year. Anyway. I will say Herbst is not the greatest driver in the world. And that is definitely a downgrade from a nine-win season of Chase Briscoe. So, oh my goodness. He's going to be very much scrutinized. He's going to be under the gun. <sighs> I'm going to try to wrap this up. I got a pizza from Subway. Yeah, I know that sounds weird, but I got a pizza and a couple of cookies. One for myself, one for my mom, one for my dad, because my dad's actually off of work all this week. Kind of like last week when I was completely off of work because of remodeling here at Subway and I wash dishes. Yep. You're listening to a dishwasher. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Herps. Herps. I'm going to say good luck because he's going to, you're going to need a, a Herps is going to need luck. Although I'll say this for him. Stuart Haas Racing is a lot different than Joe Gibbs. A racing, that is. Haas, Stuart Haas seems to like to take its time a little bit more. I mean, granted, you saw what they did with Suarez. They dumped him after a year. But at least it was for Cole Custer. Who won a race this game? Wow, I can't believe. Anyway, maybe he'll develop differently, especially considering that he doesn't have two other drivers that are competing for the same equipment, I guess. I mean, he's got no one else to learn with, but the entire Xfinity organization, you know, can work around him. I mean... The entire Arctic organization kind of was. But Arc is a different story, especially since he was driving for JGR, which is a completely different story. That's a bit more of a harsh on teams, that whole pipeline. I'd almost call corrupt. Almost. Eric Jones, sadly, is the latest victim and is going... He just came off of last year, not this season, but last season. He won the fetching Southern 500. And he also won at Daytona the year before. And he's going to Richard Petty Motorsports, which has, well, since it's Richard Petty Motorsports, it's a team that has one career win and it was range shortened, strategy, range strategy delay on a plate track, no less. Well, at least they look decent this year with, with Bubba Wallace. Well, I don't know. The only race I actually watched the substantial portions, the only races, NASCAR races, um, maybe the first Talladega Cup race. Uh, I watched the Xfinity Darlington race <laughs> that Brandon Jones won. <laughs> uh, and Cup Phoenix. I did, I did, I did, did, did go, do a good job. I watched every uh, IndyCar race, at least half of it. Mm, watch, like, there was like a race, maybe two, where I tuned in late, like around the third mark, but I watched pretty much the end of And that was great. That's the first time for any racing series I have done that. And this is coming from someone who's turning 22 in a month. Oh, uh, oh man! As for if you're wondering what happened to my NR races, um, yeah, I kind of got lost a ton of time with um a lot of housework and stuff. Um, 
yeah, because we're like painting. Oh, suddenly, oh, we're painting my room. You know, they're painting the outside of the house. Uh, suddenly, oh, we have to take your bed. We're taking your bed out of the room because we're assembling a new bed. You're sleeping on a mattress. Your mattress in the living room for a couple of nights. Okay, that was interesting. Now apparently, oh god, they want to move all my shelf, everything off my shelves. Paint the wall behind there. It's like, oh god, there's so much. Oh no, I'm, I'm dreading it out. If that was gonna happen, I haven't even. You can't even really get to my shelves because I still haven't really completely straightened up after getting the new bed in. Um, I kind, I, and, uh, so I'm burnt out on NR after some shiz, some shiz really went down in a server multiple times this year, and that really's drained me. So I don't know if I'm going to be uploading any more NR races. So at this point, at this point, assuming if it doesn't get back underway, um, well, no, it was an urge. There was a change in the championship points. I think at some point, I think I don't quote me on this, but I think your your points leader, your your champion at this point would be. Former vice president, now president elect Joe Biden. Uh, Ferris Bueller for um, Melling and AJ Jones would be back to back in trucks. Um, more updates. I'll still be doing some screenshot and our stuff. Um, I guess I could try and start doing Let's Plays again. I could do gr more Grid 2 would be nice. I don't know if I'm going to restart my Hero Academia. Hero... My Hero 1's Justice. That's right. That's what it was. Um, maybe, but I, I still haven't even beaten the final battle. I, be, I beat the final ballad and villain story, but there's some extra stuff, and I haven't even beaten that, so it's like, ooh, do I even wanna? There's a Ruby game, though. I might I might do that instead. That could be interesting. We could see a playthrough as John. <laughs> anyway, this it was gonna be a... It was kind of a Herbs rant, but not quite, but he's being thrown into the fire. Um, and this, I definitely did not want to make a video twice as long as my next one. Uh, but, but hey, I shouldn't be too mad. Look who we got back at IndyCar for, on a part-time basis, not on, for like six races. We got Castro Nevis! Yeah! <laughs>